Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Planet Codebot. Today we're going to be looking at two DIY battle robot kits from Science Salad. We're going to have a look at what these robots are capable of, look at how they're constructed, and then discuss how practical they are for use in the classroom or for building at home. These Science Salad kits are small, easy to build combat robots. They come in a number of different designs, and each kit contains all the tools and materials you'll need to build the robot. The robots are available from DIYBattleBots.com. For UK viewers, a selection of the robots can be bought from Bristol Bot Builders. This is where I bought mine. The two robots I'll be reviewing today are Hammerhead Shark, an Axe Hammerbot, and Sawfish, a horizontal spinner. The body of these robots is laser cut from thin wood. They all weigh different amounts, however, they average at around 320 grams, so these aren't big robots. However, when you're using them, you can't help but feel they're a little bit more like this. Now, a full-size combat robot, like those in the video clip we just saw, is certainly not cheap or easy to build. They also demand the highest safety requirements to be able to operate and build safely. As such, they can prove to be quite restrictive to younger builders. This is something that the DIY Battle Robot Kits hope to address. Starting with the price first, this will cost you about 60 to 70 US dollars, or if you're in the UK, you're looking at about 38 pounds. As I mentioned previously, for that cost, you do get all the components to build the robot and the controller, as well as the batteries and the tools to do the building as well. There are no extra parts required at all. All in all, these robots represent pretty good value for money, especially as they can be deconstructed and built again without having to buy extra parts or replacements. Before we look at how the robot is built, I just wanted to address safety quickly. Safety is always important. However, if you're thinking of doing an activity with younger builders, it's absolutely pivotal that you make sure to reduce any risks at all. Thanks to their wooden construction and simple and weak motors, these robots are really, really good to use with young builders. They don't require any power tools to use, nor any super sticky glues, which could cause issues. While the weapons are powerful enough to make the battles entertaining, they're not dangerous to the user. To prove this, I used myself as a guinea pig. As you can see from the video clip, I came away from this brutal attack with absolutely no injuries whatsoever. I will say, if you catch the sawfish blade at full speed on the end of your fingertip like I did, it can sting a little bit. However, apart from that, there really is no risk of user injury here. In this next part of the video, I'm gonna show you what you get inside the box and talk about the construction. As this isn't a build video, I'm going to be speeding up the video footage quite considerably. There will be a link to me building this in real time for you to follow, and I will also share the video instructions provided by Science Salad. This build is for the sawfish kit. You can see everything that's included in the box. We've got the pre-cut wooden panels, for the controller and for the robot, two wheels, two batteries for the remote control, a rechargeable battery for the robot, a really simple speed controller, which controls the speed of the wheels and the weapon motors, and then all the nuts, bolts, screws, and little buttons that you will need to complete the build. This kit also has an elastic band and a few other little bits and pieces which are required specifically for the weapon. The body of the robot and the controller are made out of thin, lightweight wood, which has been laser cut. The quality of the template is overall pretty good. All the pieces snap together quite nicely and there are no parts that are way too big or way too small. One slight criticism I do have of this is that some of the parts become quite difficult to remove from the templates. I'd recommend doing this ahead of time or using an adult to remove the pieces rather than a child as it is possible to snap some of the smaller, more fiddly pieces while trying to get them out of the templates. The robot is controlled by three motors. Two yellow motors power the wheels, and one silver motor powers the spinning weapon. They connect to a simple speed controller, which you can see pictured. The robot has been designed with simplicity in mind. As such, you will require no extra tools to complete the build. All of the pieces attach to the wooden parts with simple screws, nuts, and bolts. I'm using the wooden wrench, which is provided alongside with the mini screwdriver to tighten up these connections, before attaching the motor hubs to the base of the robot itself. 
As this kit opts for nuts and bolts to attach the parts rather than using glue, this means that the robot can be deconstructed and rebuilt at a later date. This is excellent news for schools and clubs who hope to reuse the kit with different groups of children. It would however be wise to make sure that you have some spare nuts and bolts available because these will inevitably get lost. As an educator, one area of this kit that I really do like is the electronics. The kit takes a simple approach to the wiring. There's no soldering or difficult connections to have to deal with. The motors attach to the speed controller with simple connectors and are well soldered to their other parts. This allows builders to get a better idea of how the circuitry works, but without having to deal with the daunting and technically difficult process of connecting wires. This may prove overly simple for more advanced builders. However, it provides a perfect avenue for beginners to get a taste into combat robot building. I'm now going to share a few pros and cons, which I believe accurately summarize this robot before giving a conclusion as to who I would recommend buys this kit. These DIY science salad robot kits are cheap, easy to build and highly accessible for beginners and young builders. The circuitry is easy to understand and doesn't contain any of the more daunting processes such as soldering. The kits are reusable and can be deconstructed and reconstructed with minimal effort. While building the robot I did come across a few quality issues. First of all, the laser cutting did lead to some parts snapping because they weren't quite cut fully enough. And while I was building the weapon bar, I did notice that two of the holes which had been drilled weren't quite lined up properly, which meant that when I put the bar through it, it wouldn't quite sit flat like it should do. In conclusion, I think these DIY battle robot kits from Science Salad provide an excellent avenue for amateur and beginner builders to explore combat robot building. Young builders will find the kit simple to follow and fun to play with. More advanced builders may find the kit a little bit limiting though. For schools, clubs or parents looking to introduce their children to the world of robotics, I think this provides an excellent first step. For more videos on education, robotics, coding and all things STEAM, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.